a very good o'clock dear students here i am nikita mam your geography teacher students in yesterday's video i sent you the uh, information about the revolution of the earth and what are its effects over the earth so hope it is clear to you all but let me discuss it to once again uh the features of revolution are uh, all of you know that what is revolution it is the movement of the earth around the sun in an elliptical orbit so it takes around 365 days and 6 hours to complete one rotation and it moves from west to east and the earth revolves around the sun at an average speed of 29.8 km per second okay the earth's orbit around the sun covers a distance of 965 million km and hence the earth takes around 365 days and 6 hours to complete this rotation but for our convenience we take only 365 days which is known as a year during the revolution uh, we uh, we uh, ignore the six years oh sorry six hours but these six hours then are added to form one full day which is then after four years added to make a leap year okay students what do you know about leap year so leap year is that year which comes about comes after four years in which february has an extra day that is february has 29 days okay so that adds up to become those six hours in four years add up to become a leap year okay then revolution causes changes in time over different places on the earth these are the effects uh, revolution causes changes in the time over the earth and also the cycle of seasons in the uh, is a combined effect of the revolution of the earth and the tilted axis axis of the earth okay let us see how these uh, reasons affect the seasons on the earth first of all there is effect of the tilted axis on the day and night that is an important uh, topic the axis of the earth is tilted at an angle of 66 and half degree thus the axis of the earth in its orbit around the sun remains tilted to one side okay it is tilted towards east ki taraf ye tilted hai 66 and half degree okay and uh, जो ये एंगल बनाती है दैट इज 66 सिक्स एंड हाफ डिग्री और जो टिल्ट का एंगल है दैट इज 23 थ्री एंड हाफ डिग्री ओके सो रिमेन्स टिल्टेड ऑन दी वन साइड देर आर टू पोजिशन ऑफ द अर्थ नॉन इज पेरी हिलियन एंड एपी हिलियन सो पेरी हिलियन इज द वन विद द अर्थ इज सेट टू बी इन द मिनिमम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सन दैट इज वन फोर्टी सेवन मिलियन किलोमीटर्स अप्रॉक्स एंड एपी हिलियन कम्स वेन द अर्थ इज एट द मैक्सिमम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सन दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वन फिफ्टी टू मिलियन किलोमीटर्स hence uh, due to this inclination in one direction the northern hemisphere what happens that uh, six months the northern hemisphere is facing the sun and in another six months the following six months the southern hemisphere is facing the sun so these two things happen so when the northern hemisphere is facing the sun it has longer days and every point of it gets the sunlight okay and when southern hemisphere comes towards the sun or faces the sun then there are longer days in the southern hemisphere and shorter days in the northern hemisphere i hope aapko idea to lag hi gaya hoga ki seasons change kaise hote hain when the sun uh, is towards the northern hemisphere obviously longer days are there to summer season hoga and when the season uh, and when it changes the side towards the southern hemisphere hamare days shorter ho jate hain obviously it means that it is the winter season okay now let us discuss in uh, detail that what uh, is the cause of the changing seasons so the phenomena of change of season is due to two reasons uh, as i already told that revolution of earth first reason and second is the inclination of the earth's axis at an angle of 66 and a half degree to its orbital plane okay now this phenomenon of changing season can be understood with the help of the four positions of the earth okay which are depicted in this diagram okay we'll discuss it one by one so there are basically four position discussed two are solstices and two are equinoxes okay let us see what are solstices and what are equinoxes so solstices and equinox both refer to seasons in a calendar year okay these are seasons these seasons come about uh, come about because of the earth's position in relation to the sun okay 
when earth is in four different positions related to the sun and then these seasons tend to change therefore solstice and equinox happen four times in a year okay solstice occur during winter and summer around 21 december and 21 june and equinox occurs during spring and fall around march 21 and september 22 okay so these marks the change of seasons and uh, what happens in solstice that it, it is a uh, longest day and uh, longest night okay in december on december 21 it is the longest night and shortest day and on june 21 it is the longest day and shortest night okay uh, whereas um, equinox have a uh, equal duration of day and night that is why it is known as equinox because it has a uh, equal duration of day and night period okay that occurs on march 21 and september 22 so these are four notable differences in the position of the earth in relation to sun during its revolution okay solstice occur when the point of the earth axis is pointed directly towards or away from the sun so what is solstice jab sun ki jo position hoti hai either it's directly pointed towards the sun or it is away from the sun okay दोनों तरीके से एंड वेन दिस हैपन द सन अपीयर्स हैव रीच्ड इट सदर्न मोस्ट और नॉर्दर्न मोस्ट पॉइंट और ऐसा होता है तब कि सन जो है वो अपने सदर्न मोस्ट या नॉर्दर्न मोस्ट पॉइंट्स पर पहुंच गया है या पोल्स पर पहुंच गया है ओके ड्यूरिंग द समर सॉलिस्ट इज यूजली द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ द समर द सन इज फारदेस्ट नॉर्थ एंड द टाइम बिटवीन सनराइज एंड सनसेट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट ओके समर सॉलिस्ट के टाइम पर जो सन होता है वो नॉर्थ पोल पे होता है अपने नॉर्दर्न मोस्ट पॉइंट पर होता है और इसीलिए जो डे और नाइट के ड्यूरेशन का जो गैप होता है वो सबसे ज़्यादा होता है ओके सो दैट इज़ सेट टू बी द लॉन्गेस्ट डे ऑफ द ईयर दैट इज़ ट्वेंटी वन जून जो मैंने आपको बताया ऑन दी अदर हैंड विंटर सॉलिस्ट उस पर क्या होता है जो फर्स्ट डे होता है विंटर का द सन इज़ फारदेस्ट साउथ सन जो होता है वो अपने सबसे साउथ में होता है साउथ पोल पर कह सकते हैं एंड द लेंथ ऑफ टाइम बिटवीन सनराइज एंड सनसेट इज शॉर्टर तो सनराइज और सनसेट के बीच का जो टाइम होता है वो शॉर्ट हो जाता है एंड इट इज़ नॉन टू बी अ लॉन्गेस्ट नाइट ओके दैट इज आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द ट्वेंटी वन डिसम्बर ओके नाउ अनलाइक समर एंड विंटर सॉलिस्ट इक्वेनॉक्स इज वेन बोट डे एंड नाइट आर ऑफ द सेम लेंथ एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इक्वल लेंथ के डे और नाइट इज दिन होते हैं नाइट इज इक्वेनॉक्स ओके सो This takes place when because the sun is crossing the equator and is an equal distance from the north pole and south pole. ये position दो बार आती है. Why? When the sun is crossing the equator because equator is the center of the earth. So this position of the sun is equal distance to from the north pole and south pole. दोनों से उसका distance equal होता है. That is why the uh, the period of day and night becomes equal okay however the poles do not experience the equilibrium of day and night during this time of the year so overall the earth experience day and night uh, equal but not the poles okay coming to one by one these solstices and uh, equinoxes first is june 21 that is summer solstice noon rays from the sun fall vertically on tropic of cancer okay so sun is on tropic of cancer at june 21 and if this is because it is uh, tilted towards the north pole okay the northern hemisphere is the longest day and shortest night okay it occurs in the northern hemisphere summer solstice occurs in the northern hemisphere when there is a longest day and shortest night as earth rotates its axis all point lying on this uh, north of 66.5 degree north remain continuously within the circle of illumination kehne ka matlab hai ki is samay pe jo north and hemisphere ke jitne bhi points hote hain wo sare circle of illumination mein hote hain yani ki experience karte hain light ko 24 continuous hours of daylight to the midnight sun okay that is uh, another on the other hand jo 66.5 degree ke south side hote hain they do, they experience darkness okay it is it, it is the it is summer in the northern hemisphere us time summer hoti hai whereas winter in the southern hemisphere bilkul ye phenomenon jo hai ek jaise hi hai because northern hemisphere is facing towards the sun obviously then there is summer season and uh, southern hemisphere mein there is winter season okay nothing is very tricky here 
now december 22nd which is winter solstice now this occurs in the southern hemisphere then the position of sun is towards the tropic of capricorn that is 23.5 degree south hai na and this is because the south pole is inclined towards the sun and the north pole is away from it so days will be longer in the southern hemisphere nights are shorter whereas in the northern hemisphere days will be shorter and nights will be longer that is winter season okay so hope you all understood that how the seasons change now coming the march 21st that is the spring equinox the moment of the vernal equinox or march equinox occurs on 20 or 21 march so uh, what happens the rays of the sun fall vertically at the equator this time at the time the circle of illumination passes through both the poles and the circle of illumination jo hai that passes exactly through the center of the earth means crossing the north pole and south pole okay so period of day light and darkness are nearly 12 hours each all over the वर्ल्ड तो इसमें जो होता है वो डे और नाइट का पीरियड इक्वल हो जाता है स्प्रिंग इन दी नॉर्दर्न हेमोस्फियर एंड ऑटम इन दी सदर्न हेमोस्फियर नॉर्थ हेमोस्फियर में स्प्रिंग हो जाती है सदर्न हेमोस्फियर में ऑटम हो जाता है और ट्वेंटी थर्ड जो ऑटम इक्वनॉक्स है उसमें क्या है मोमेंट इन द टाइम ऑफ द नेचुरल ऑटम इक्वनॉक्स और सेप्टेम्बर इक्वनॉक्स भी इसको कहते हैं जब सर्कल ऑफ एलिमिनेशन अगेन पैस थ्रू बोथ दी पोल्स ओके इक्विनॉक्स इज बोथ आर सेम ओके द रेज ऑफ सन फॉल वर्ल्ड कली आर द इक्वेटर देन अगेन इक्वल डे एंड नाइट अकर इट इज देन सीजन चेंज दैट इट इज ऑटम इन नॉर्दर्न हेमोस्फियर एंड स्प्रिंग इन सदर्न हेमोस्फियर ओके दैट्स ऑल थैंक यू चैप्टर इज कंप्लीट